mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss the introduction to similar triangles. So, in this video, we will define and illustrate similar triangles. We will differentiate triangle similarity and triangle congruence. And we will find the similarity ratio and scale factor of similar triangles. So, I have here sets of shapes and I want you to uh, pair these shapes according to it, its number of sides or the shape itself. Okay? So, we have this. Now, kung titingnan natin, meron tayo ditong two sets of groupings. Okay? Meron tayong dalawang groupings dito. Because we will be describing or we will be differentiating the uh, similarity versus congruence. So, ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng similarity at congruence? So, these figures on the left side are similar figures, while these figures on the right side are congruent figures. So, what is the difference between these two? So, let's remove this uh, um, and, uh, uh, other examples. So, when we say similar figures, these are figures with the same shape. Okay? So, pareho sila ng shape. While congruent figures, these are same shape at the same time, same size. Okay? So, as you can see, ang congruent figures natin ay same shape and same size. So, hawak niya rin o meron sa kanya yung definition din ng similar figures or yung description din ng similar figures. So, therefore, we can say that congruent figures are also similar figures. Alright? So, again, similar figures have the same shape. Well, congruent figures have the same shape and same size. Co similar figures are the corresponding angles are congruent. While for congruent figures, the corresponding angles are also congruent. Now, when it, when it comes to their sides, the corresponding sides are proportional. So, when it comes to uh, its sides, the corresponding sides of similar figures are proportional. While... Sa congruent figures, their corresponding sides are also congruent. So, congruent din. So, aside from angles, the sides are also congruent. Dito, the angles are congruent and the sides are proportional. So, yun po ang pinagkaiba nila. So, dito, ang angles congruent, ganun din sa congruent ang figures. But when it comes to their sides, the sides of similar figures are proportional while the sides of congruent figures are congruent. So, dun po sila nagkaiba. And, similar figure is denoted by this symbol. So, this is read as similar to. Is similar to. While for congruent figures, we are using this symbol. And, this is read as is congruent to. Okay? So, yun po ang difference. Ang side po nito, proportional. Dito po sa congruent figures, the sides are congruent. And then, ang symbol po pag similarity, ito na po yung parang alon. Well, for congruent, we have this. Okay, so let's talk about similar triangles. When do we say that the triangles are similar? Kailan ba natin sinasabi na ang triangles ay similar? So, una, dapat same shape sila. So, uh, according dun sa definition kanina ng similar figures, so dapat same shape. So, as you can see, I have here figures with the same shape. So, pareho silang triangle. Now, aside from that, the corresponding angles of both triangles are congruent. So, kapag ang, congru ang triangle ABC at triangle PQR, ang angles nila ay congruent, then we can say that they, are, they are similar triangles. So, ito po. Kung ang angles nito ay congruent dito, ibig sabihin similar triangle sila. Pero isa pa lang yun sa kanyang uh, characteristic ng similar triangle. So, ano pa ba? So, ilista muna natin. Ilist natin yung mga congruent angles nila. So, we have corresponding congruent angles. So, si angle P congruent kay angle A. Or si angle A congruent kay angle P. Si angle B, congruent kay angle Q. And si angle C, congruent kay angle R. So, pag sinabi natin similar triangles, dapat ang corresponding congruent angles niya ay uh, pareho. I mean, yung corresponding angles niya ay congruent. Okay? 
Now, aside from their angles, so dapat ang corresponding sides naman niya ay proportional. So, pag sinabi natin proportional, dapat yung uh, ratio niyan pare-pareho. Okay? So, dapat yung ratio ng lahat ng sides niyan pare-pareho. So, doon natin masasabi na proportional sila. Or, pwede nyo i-apply yung the product of the means is equal to the product of the extreme. So, yun po yung pwede rin natin gamitin. So, we have... Uh, let's list all the proportions of corresponding sides. We have PQ. This side is uh, proportional to this side of your second triangle, your AB, which is equivalent to PR is to AC. And QR is to BC. Okay? So, again, ito po yung mga corresponding sides nila na proportional. Okay, so PQ to AB and then PR to AC and QR to BC. So again, pag sinabi natin kung gru uh, I mean similar triangles, dapat po ang corresponding angles nila ay congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. So what is our similarity correspondence? Paano natin siya Isusulat. So, since we have here two triangles, again, since they are similar, bakit sila similar? Kasi yung corresponding angles nila ay congruent at yung corresponding sides nila ay proportional. So, kapag itong dalawang um, statement na to ay uh, present dito sa ating triangles, then we can say that these triangles are similar triangles. So, pwede na nating sabihin that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So, this is our symbol for similarity. Okay. So, what is a similarity ratio? Similarity ratio is the simplest form of the ratio of the lengths of two corresponding sides of similar triangles. So, pag sinabi natin similarity ratio, ito yung simplest form, lowest term, ng lahat ng ratio ng lengths of its side. So, di ba we have three sides of a of the triangle. So, pag kinuha mo lahat ng ratio, yung simplest form ng lahat ng ratio ng sides ng similar triangles mo, dapat pare-pareho. Yun po ang similarity ratio. So, let's have an example. So, I have here triangle SPT and triangle MNL with their measures of the sides. So, kunin natin yung proportions of corresponding sides. So, we have SP SP is to MN and then PT is to NL and then ST is to ML. So, ito po yung ating um, corresponding sides. Okay? So, ito po yung corresponding sides ng ating similar triangle. So, ngayon, kukunin natin yung mga sukat nila, yung measurement. So, for SP, we have 5. For MN, we have 12. I mean, for SP, we have 4. For MN, we have 12. So, that is 4 over 12. Okay? So, from here, uh, we, have, we also have 3 over 9 for PT. So, for PT, we have 3. For NL, we have 9. And then, for ST, we have 5. For ML, we have 15. Okay? So, from here... Uh, paano natin malalaman o makukuha ang similarity ratio? So, as you can see, iba-iba sila. Okay? So, iba-iba sila ng um, ratio. So, ang gagawin po natin, kukunin natin yung lowest term. Okay? Kunin natin lowest term. So, kunin natin yung GCF. The GCF is 4. And then divide. So, that is 1 third. And then this one, the GCF is 3. So, 3 divided 3, that is 1. 9 divided 3 is 3. So, 1 third din po. And then for 5 over 15, we have divide 5 the, since the GCF is 5. So, 5 divided 5, that is 1. And five, 15 divided 5, that is 3. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating simplest form. Okay? Ito po yung simplest form na tinatawag natin. So, as you can see, they are all the same. Okay? So, pare-pareho po. So, therefore, our similarity ratio is one-third. So, yun po ang pagkuha ng ating similarity ratio. Kukunin mo po yung simplest form ng ratio ng bawat side. So, it is the simplest form 
of the ratio of the lengths of two corresponding sides of similar triangles. Now, what is a scale factor? So, a scale factor is the amount of enlargement or reduction needed to get a similar figure from the other. This is the ratio of the dimension of an object in its diagonal image to its actual size. So, let's say I have here the actual size. So, pag in, uh, nilakihan ko siya, okay, pag yung dimension niya, in-enlarge ko, ito siya. So, in, pag in-enlarge natin siya in the scale of uh, 1 and 1 half. So, ito po siya. Ito yung 1. So, i-enlarge natin siya ng uh, half of its size. So, that is 1 and 1 half. Ito po siya. And then, pag in-enlarge natin siya twice of its size, so, ito na po siya. Kaya, scale of 2. So, ito in-enlarge natin half of its size. So, that is 3 halves. And then, this is the enlargement of twice of its actual size. So, that's why we have 2. And then, for reduction, we have, we will be uh, reducing this actual size half of its size. So, yung half of its size, ito po siya. And then, this one, i-reduce -re naman natin ito into twice of its size. So, ito naman po siya. Kaya, we have the scale of 2. So, from the actual size, we have, we have here the enlargement half of its size. And then, the enlarge, enlargement twice of its size. And then, this one, the reduction half of its size. And the reduction twice of its size. Okay? So, as you can see, the scale factor is less than 1. So, alin ba dito? From the actual size, ito yung less than 1 natin dyan. Yung 1 half. And then, ito. So, when the scale factor is less than 1, the similar figure is a reduction. Okay, kapag less than 1. So, in-scale natin to ng twice of its size. I mean, bina binabaan natin. Twice of its size, niliitan natin siya. That is what we call reduction. But when the scale factor is greater than 1, yung dadagdagan mo siya, that is enlargement. Okay, so when the scale factor is greater than the actual size, that is enlargement. When the scale factor is less than its actual size, that is reduction. Let's have an example. Another example. So, itong figure niya to, i -re reduce natin siya. So, we have this. And then, from here, we have this figure. And then, this one. And then, this one. Now, okay. So, ito po siya. Okay. So, this is another example of reducing the actual size of a figure. So, I have here triangle M and L needs to be reduced by a scale factor of one-fourth. So, liliitan daw natin siya ng one-fourth. Okay? So, how long is the shortest side of the reduced image? So, ito po yun. So, how long is the shortest side? Since ito yung short shortest side nung original triangle mo. So, ito po yung given triangle. So, ito yung shortest side niya. Dahil ito ay 12, ito ay 16. So, this is 8. So, ito yung pinakamaliit. Ngayon, kukunin natin yung length nung shortest side din nung isa pang triangle. So, paano natin nalaman na ito yung shortest side? Kasi po, they are proportional. Kung ito yung shortest, ito rin po yung shortest dun sa nireduce. Okay? So, the scale factor is 1 fourth. Yun po yung hinihingi sa atin. So, this means that the similarity ratio of the reduced triangle to the given triangle is 1 is to 4. So, the shortest side of the given triangle is 8 centimeters. So, therefore, from the reduced triangle and the given triangle, we have 1 fourth. So, ito yung buo eh. Ito yung um, original na triangle mo. Okay? Ito yung pinanggalingan. Now, i -re reduce natin siya into 1 fourth. So, ito po yung i -re reduce natin dyan, yung nasa numerator. Kasi ito yung whole, tapos ito yon from the reduced triangle, ito po siya. So, 1 po ang i -re reduce natin, 1 fourth. So, we will, we need to have the measure of the shortest side of the reduced triangle, and that is x. So, hindi, na, hindi yun ang hahanapin natin, hindi pa natin alam. But, the shortest side of the given triangle is given, so that is 8. Okay, so the shortest side of the reduced triangle, yun po ang hinahanap. So, we need to have the shortest side of the given triangle, and that is 8. 
So let us solve by using the fundamental law of proportion. So we have 4x is equal to 1 times 8. So 4x is equal to 8. So your x is 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So therefore, the length of the shortest side of the reduced triangle is 2 centimeters. Let's try. The following triangles are similar. Okay, so we have triangle MRL and triangle SKT. So triangle MRL and triangle SKT. So let us complete the given statement. So I have here named the similarity correspondence. So pag sinabing similarity correspondence, ano yung dalawang triangle na similar? So we have triangle SKT is similar to triangle MRL. Next, since similar triangles sila, ibig sabihin, ang corresponding angles nila ay congruent. So, name all the congruent corresponding angles. So, we have angle S is congruent to angle M, angle K is congruent to angle R, and angle T is congruent to angle L. Next, write proportions using pairs of corresponding sides. So, ano po yung proportion natin dito. So, yung proportion natin dito ay kung ano po yung corresponding sides nila. So, we have this side side SK is proportional to side MR. So, we have SK over MR is equivalent to KT to RL and then ST to ML. So, these are the set of proportions or the pairs of corresponding sides of your similar triangles. And then, let us find the similarity ratio. So, pag sinabing similarity ratio, since similar naman yung triangles mo, kahit isang pair lang po ang kunin mo dyan. Okay? Bakit? Kasi since similar triangles sila, automatic lahat ng uh, cor uh, corresponding sides niyan, pare-pareho po yan ng similarity ratio. So, therefore, since ito ang given, ito ang pwede natin gamitin, yung 3 over 6. So, kunin natin yung kanyang lowest term since ang hinahanap ay similarity ratio. Pag sinabing similarity ratio, simplest form. So, therefore, 3 over 6, that is 1 half. So, your similarity ratio is 1 half. Next, find RL. So, since we are looking or we are asked to find the measure of this side, so, since given na yung similarity ratio, pwede mo yun gamitin, yung one half. Okay? And then, kunin mo yung corresponding side. So, since si KT, ito yun, si KT, which is your, yun ang given. So, KT is proportional to RL. So, pwede mo yun gamitin, your KT is 4, is proportional to RL. Ito po siya. So, mahanap natin yan by applying the fundamental law of proportion. So, we have RL times natin to, so RL is equal to 4 times 2, that is 8, by cross multiplication property. So RL is equal to 8. And then find the measure of angle L and the measure of angle S. So let us find first the measure of angle L. Take note that your angle L here is congruent to angle T. So therefore, if your angle T is 37, therefore your angle L is also 37. And then for angle S, your angle S is congruent to angle M. So if your angle M is 53, therefore your angle S also measures 53 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.